Hello! The April Bella Box has arrived and I haven't opened it yet and I'm about to open it now. So, let's see what goodies I get this month. I really hope there's something for the lips. I think we're getting some Burt's Bees uh, things. And the reason I hope there's something for the lips is because my lips are really dry at this moment and I would like to put something on. So here it is outside its box. It's the typical Tiffany Blue Bella box and it's wrapped in a Burt's Bees um, thing. Oh, the tissue this time is black. Last time it was hot pink. So this is the card. Here's the tissue. The card says autumn winter style and has oh, sorry, I got really excited for a second there. It has an opalic nail gel polish thing, which I have. Oh, brand that they have. I actually have the kit for, and it's awesome because I already own the lamp and base coat and top coat and. It's just another color. Exciting! Okay. Anyway, that's that. Um, Alright, so the gel polish. It is in the color Lolita. So this is the color. It's called Lolita. It is a just a pink color. I don't have this color, so I'm very excited. It's a nice pink and I'll try this out. You know, it's all well and good that they've given us a gel polish. But what about the people that don't own the rest of the kit? Like for the people who don't have the lamp or the base coat, top coat stuff. Like for me, it's amazing because I have all the things. But I feel like putting something like this in a beauty box it's kind of forcing you to buy the rest so you can use it because this polish will not dry it has to set with a uv lamp so although it's great for me i feel like for other people this would be unusable because honestly you can't use it without the uv lamp so anyhow these uh actually retail for around 15 or 20 dollars where's the the card let's see opalette gel nail polish actually retails for 23 dollars but you can get these online on sale for about 10. the next product is a little mini sample of vaseline healthy radiance ultimate 10 anti-aging lotion and it's just a body moisturizer how cute is that? I'm gonna get some out. Oh, it's very thick. Here's some on my hand. It just has that characteristic lotion scent. I don't know how to describe it. So it doesn't have a particular note or anything. Kind of just smells like a lotion. It has fragrance, but it's that kind of perfumey, lotiony scent. Next is this eye cream. It is by Indio. Indio. Eye Rise Lift and Hydrate 5 Mils. Check that out. That's a decent amount for a um, eye cream. I mean, you don't use much. I think it's an eye cream. Could be something else. Nah. All right. Uh, oh. All right. It's an advanced eye cream that richly nourishes, providing plumping effect while while concealing imperfections. Ooh, a little bit of plumping under these eyes would be um, much appreciated. It is for all skin types. Apply every morning using a light tapping motion until absorbed. Right. So like a pre-makeup type thing which I kind of already do I like to apply some eye cream before I put on my uh, under eye concealer and things like that 
Let's see what it says here. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so this retails at $67.20 for 15 mils. And we just got a five mil sample with the Bella box. So this is actually like 20 something dollars just for this amount. That's pretty good. $67.20. You can buy it from the Bella box website. It's pretty good. I will give it a go tomorrow morning before I put my makeup on and see what it does. Next is L'Oreal Base Magique Transforming Smoothing Primer. So I'm gonna assume it's a face primer. So I can try that tomorrow morning in conjunction with the eye cream. And this Evens Skin Surface Smooths Pores. It is five mils. And this one, you again it is full size 15 mils it retails for 29.95 available at priceland and this is five mils so it's a third of what you would normally buy so pretty decent sample it doesn't feel as slippery or greasy as other ones like for example my baby skin by maybelline which is great because um, when I was trying that one or the Garnier five second blur, um, it's just too greasy. I feel like my makeup's sliding around, which is kind of defeats the purpose of using a primer. So this one has a drier texture on my hand anyway. So I'll try this tomorrow morning and see how it goes. And the, oh, it's not the last thing, almost the last thing, is this Burt's Bees lip balm. And I'm going to give this a go. I have enough lip balms to last me a few years. And I got a full-size lip balm with my Lust Habit Beauty Box a couple of weeks ago. And now I've got this one. It smells minty. My lips are actually quite dry, so it's a good time to try it out. Mm. Yeah, peppermint. I kind of got some on my tongue, and it's definitely peppermint. All right, and lastly is this sample card it's by Revlon it is their nearly naked foundations and they've got four shades here they have shell natural beige true beige and natural tan I think I'm between these two more on this side than this side so um hey I guess I'll try these tomorrow as well man I've got like half my face covered <laughs> for tomorrow. I must say, Bella Box has redeemed itself this month because last month I was kind of disappointed with their stuff. But this month, I'm actually quite happy with it. For $15, $15, yeah. For $15, I am really impressed the gel polish itself is more than the whole the cost of the whole box so i'm actually quite happy i think the value inside this box far surpasses the value of the box <laughs> um the subscription so yeah i won't be cancelling my subscription subscription just yet so yeah good box i'm happy with it and yeah that is all for today thank you for tuning in if you haven't subscribed already please do and i'll see you guys next time goodbye